Okay, good afternoon. I have one thing for you at the top before I turn it over to all of you. Um, first of all, on our Free the Press campaign, today we have actually something uh, that's very much in the news today and, and uh, pertinent. So uh, let me go ahead and say the United States is deeply disappointed that Ethiopia's federal Supreme Court upheld the conviction and harsh sentencing of journalist Eskender Nega and opposition politician Angelim Arege under the country's anti-terrorism pr proclamation and the penal code. Today's decision further reinforces our serious concern about Ethiopia's politicized prosecution of those critical of the government and ruling party, including under the anti-terrorism proclamation. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights states that everyone has a right to freedom of opinion and expression, and that this right includes the freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media, a universal right that is also enshrined in Ethiopia's constitution. The United States believes that upholding freedoms of expression, association, and other human rights is essential if Ethiopia is to realize its stated goal of being a democratic state. We continue to urge the release of those who have been imprisoned in Ethiopia for exercising their human rights and fundamental freedoms. Um, I have a question on that one. Yep. Uh, uh, Matt, go ahead. Please. No, please, go ahead. Just go first. I mean, can you point to one instance in any of the cases that you've listed this week where the U.S., where there's been consequences in the relationship for any of these imprisonments? Uh, again, we raise these cases very clearly and very them. directly. Them, let me, let me finish at least. Let me finish at least. Some of these cases are with governments where we have a more difficult relationship, some where we have a friendly relationship, and we uh, raise them across the gamut of those relationships uh, in a very clear uh, and direct way. And so we'll continue to do that, and we think it's been important over these last couple of weeks to publicly call out and make very clear our concern about some specific cases. Uh, and so we've done so. So Secretary Kerry, in testimony a couple of weeks ago, said that he was <coughs> going to go to Ethiopia soon. Is this, are, there, are, are your concerns deep enough for him to rethink whether he would, whether he would go? Uh, well, I don't have uh, any travel dates or countries to announce for potential travel to Africa for the Secretary, but well, it is somewhere he looks forward to, uh, Africa, the continent, somewhere he looks forward to visiting. In terms of a visit to Ethiopia, we do have a bilateral relationship. We have a number of uh, well, mutual interests I, I, and concerns, I, I, and so the relationship continues. But we very clearly and publicly want to state our concerns when we have them. And um, you know that we've talked about this particular case of uh, Eskender Nega and, and a number of, uh, number of times <coughs> in the past, and we thought it was appropriate to do so again today. So the answer is no. This, your concern isn't strong enough that would stop him from going. We travel and we continue uh, our relationship with countries with whom we have a number of, uh, <coughs> uh, where we have human rights concerns. Go ahead, Matt.